Mordechai Shapiro versus Benny Friedman. Who will win this epic singer battle? Mordechai Shapiro and Benny Friedman are some of the biggest names in Jewish music, and in this head-to-head -head matchup, we'll compare over 10 different categories. Each category will be worth up to a total of 10 points, and at the end, whoever has the most points is the winner. Now, remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Both Mordechai Shapiro and Benny Friedman have their channels linked in the description. Morty and Benny are actually really great friends in real life, so this will definitely be one interesting battle. Let's get straight into it, starting with category number one. Experience. Benny Friedman is not much older than Mordecha Shapiro and hasn't been in the industry for much longer. Benny Friedman's first album came out seven years before Mordecha Shapiro's first one, so Benny does have a bit of an edge in the experience category. It is also important to factor in the fact that Mordecha Shapiro was a star soloist in the Miami Boys Choir as a kid, and he even sang with Shweki at a concert. We are going to give Benny 10 points for this category, since he's definitely more experienced though. That being said, Mordecai Shapiro will take 9 points since he's been in the industry for quite a decent amount of time and because he was a star soloist in Miami as a kid. The next category is Enthusiasm. Mordecai Shapiro arguably has a fanbase that gets a little more excited for him than Benny's. Benny and Morty both rose to popularity extremely quickly and an argument can be made to say that they are the two most popular Jewish singers today. Both Benny and Morty are really able to get a crowd excited, so we're going to give Morty 10 points for this category and Benny 9 points. That puts the score at 19 to 19. This is turning out to be a tight matchup, so make sure you watch to the end to find out who wins. The next category is popularity. Popularity in this battle will be very close, as both Benny and Morty have been rated top tier ever since they started singing. In 2022, the three biggest songs of the year were Ashira, Yama, and the Chaya Lamim. One song from Benny, one song from Morty, and one from both. As such, there's clearly no way we can put one over the other in this category. So, we're giving Benny 10 points and Morty 10 points. This is going to be one close battle, so watch to the end to see who wins. The next category is YouTube. This category is really two separate categories. Views and Subscribers. Benny definitely excels in subscribers, with him having well over 100,000 and as of now being one of only four Jewish American singers above that number. Morty has closer to 60,000 subscribers at time of recording, which is the next highest after Benny, but Benny by far wins in the subscribers category. The views part, however, is a lot closer, with the two having about the same total all-time views. Being that Benny had a couple more years than Morty to collect those views, though, it does give Morty a slight edge in the views area. For this category, we will give Benny 10 points since he is way ahead in subscribers, and Morty 8 points since he is slightly ahead in the views area, yet still behind in subscribers. That leaves Benny at 39 points and Morty at 37. Spotify is the next category, though this is once again really two categories. Average plays and monthly listeners. Benny pulls slightly ahead in both. Benny has both more monthly listeners on average, and more average plays on his music as of now, but not by a lot though. Benny has just over 90,000 monthly listeners, while Morty has just under 75,000. For this category, we're going to give Benny 10 points and Morty 7 points. That gives Benny a solid 5 point lead, standing at 49 points to Morty's 44. Next up is Energy. This one definitely has to go to Mordecai Shapiro. Just look at him every concert, he is out of breath time and time again because he puts so much energy into each and every song and performance. But just because Morty has insane energy, doesn't mean Benny lacks here. Benny is a top performer, and we'll give him 7 points for this category, while Morty gets 10 points. The next category is Concerts, which basically means who can sell out more seats more consistently at a concert. It would seem this category is very close, with Benny and Morty both known to sell out some of the biggest concerts in the industry, and even though one of them might have a slight edge in this area, we are going to give both Benny and Morty 10 out of 10 points for the concert category. The next category is Pricing. Which singer gets away with charging more money for an event? We've got some inside information on the prices both singers charge, and though we can't reveal them, we can tell you Morty's price was slightly higher. Bunny and Morty are both some of the highest paid singers in the industry, which makes a ton of sense, meaning that they provide some of the highest levels of entertainment in the industry. We're going to give Benny 9 points for this category and Morty 10 points since his pricing is slightly higher than Benny's. That puts the total score so far at 75 to 74 with Benny in the lead by 1 point. This is getting really close. The next category is music videos, and no one is a clear winner here. Morty has redefined the music video scene, and it's one of the things he is known for. But you are comparing him to the king of music videos here, Benny Friedman. Many, including us here at Jewish Singers, believe Morty's music videos played a key role in his rise to success in the music industry. But 
Betty's videos are still some of the most popular Jewish music has ever seen. In fact, three of the top five most viewed Jewish music videos ever are Benny Friedman's, and Benny is the only Jewish American singer to get over 25 million views on one of his videos. No other singer even really comes close to that. This category is very difficult to judge since Benny's top videos are way bigger than Morty's, but on average, Morty's music videos are a lot bigger. So, I think we're going to have to call this category a tie and give both Morty and Benny 10 out of 10 points. And finally, here we are, down to the last category, talent. Talent is a tough category to rank, as both Benny and Morty are obviously extremely talented. Being able just to sing as these two do is an incredible talent, and there's no way we can judge who is more talented. There's just one thing we can't ignore, which is the fact that Morty is also a composer on top of being a singer. Morty has composed many of his own hit songs over the years, and when adding that extra piece into the equation, it slightly tips the scales. We're making it a tie for talent, since both singers are super talented though. That gives Benny 10 out of 10 points, but since Morty also composes, we are giving him a bonus point, giving Morty 11 points for this category. Time for the final score. And the winner is... Yep, that's right, it's a tie. Benny and Morty. Both come in at 95 points. This has truly been a close battle, and it's one of the closest ones we've ever done. Morty and Benny are truly top tier singers, and they both continue to release some of the biggest hits in Jewish music. But... Which one of them got the title of best song of 2022? Well, click here to watch a shocking countdown of the top 10 songs from 2022. Thanks for watching.